story exposing some like industry pro pretending to date her to manipulate women this shit's wild i'm gonna play the clip first so you guys could get more context but this shit is wild as fuck a few months ago um a few girls in my community came forward to me with some Hold concerns up. a few months ago um a few girls in my community came forward to me with some concerns and asked to speak to my manager they proceeded to send my manager countless screenshots and videos of their conversation with him proving the lying and manipulation that was going on so basically he would reach out to girls that he knew were like in my chat or viewers of mine he would approach them and because of his connections with streamers and the company he worked at he seemed like a very trustworthy individual he would then tell the girls that he's suicidal and deals with mental health issues which of course would garner him a lot of sympathy and again these girls are so sweet so of course they would hear him out um and then once he felt that he gained their trust enough he would start sharing these photoshopped discord conversations with me at, like he would share it with them but they were of me and him that's crazy bro holy fuck okay so she just got, she gave you guys a background story. Been telling people, Pokemon, I'm like, oh my God, Jesus, James. Uh, yeah, okay. So hang on, let me zoom in so you guys get a better view. That's one thing I got to remember to do. Zoom in more. Yeah, during a recent stream, Twitch star Pokemon opened up about fans, uh, about a professional in the streaming industry who allegedly faked a romantic relationship with her in order to get close to women in her community. The gaming and streaming industry has a notorious history of sexual harassment. Uh, yeah, okay. So... On March 1st, 2023, renowned Twitch streamer Pokemane revealed to her followers that a highly influential professional, they were talking, when she was talking about this, when Pokemane was chatting about it, she was saying that this person had connections to, like, a bunch of major streamers, uh, that they, like, talked to Pokemane, they talked to other major streamers, like, about intricate details about the streaming process, like, um, they, you know, this person knew how much Pokemane and other streamers made off of brand deals, off of like stream advertisements, off of their stream, had a lot of connections, dealt with like a lot of people within it, super major interest. So what people, she doesn't say it outright, but a lot of people think that this is some kind of like Twitch, Twitch, former Twitch associate, or in some kind of like serious power position, obviously, if they're communicating with all these people. Uh, and yeah, so he was just hitting up people in Pokimane's chat he was literally just hitting up people in Pokimane's chat basically exactly how she describes and he was telling them that he was in a romantic relationship with Pokimane there's way more details to the story it's fucking wild he was telling them that, that he was in a romantic relationship with Pokimane he was getting deep faked uh deep faked nudes of Pokimane and sending it to these girls being like check check this out like check check out Pokemane's nudes. Why you would do that? No idea. Sure. So he was getting he was taking deep fake nudes of hers and sending it to these random girls from her chat, from her stream. These are viewers. These aren't other streamers. These are viewers sending it to her be like look at this. And he was saying they were in a romantic relationship. He was saying that they were they were fucking and he was saying that they were dating whatever whatever. I guess I assume the reason why some people, some of these women took the bait is that Pokimane, if you guys didn't know this about her, she's very like private about her private life, specifically her romantic relationship. She said, if she's dating somebody, people will never know. If she's seeing somebody they'll never know. Whatever the case may be. She wants to keep that all behind the scenes just because it creates too much drama and too much chaos in her stream. She said this a number of times uh, and it makes a lot of sense because you know, her dating situation who she's seeing or sleeping with or whatever has always been like a point of conversation. So I understand why she wants to keep that like hundred percent private and outside like the eye of social media or whatever. So I think if you're part of the thing is, is that's so manipulative because if you're part of her community, you know that about her. I'm not part of her community. I'm not like an avid Pokemon watcher, but I've seen enough clips of her explaining this that I know that like about her or at least about how she likes to deal with that shit. And the, so I guess that's why some people took it as bait. The thing was, is that he was sending them like deep faked nudes of Pokemane. So not real ones to these chicks. 
and then being like, yeah, I'm seeing her, um, you know, sleeping with her, whatever. And then saying that all this kind of shit is making him suicidal. Just like sim- simply being with her is making him suicidal. That's what he was telling these girls. And he was trying to get their sympathy and gain their trust. And then again, exactly like what the fuck Pokimane just said in her, in this clip here is that he was then sending them because th- he was actually in contact with Pokimane. He was in contact with Pokimane because he, he was some kind of professional in the streaming space. I'm just going to assume some kind of like Twitch executive. Let's just put it that way. So he was taking their Discord, he was taking their Discord messages, and then he was Photoshopping them to put stuff in that she obviously didn't say, and then sending it to these girls, trying to be like, you know, look at what we talked about here in Discord DMs, whatever, right? Uh, what's your nickname, bro? Are you like Coffeezilla, the inter- the internet detective? But you're, twi- you're Twitch's detective? We could be Twitch's detective. We could be Twitch's detective. Sounds like a stalker. It's bro, wild. Yeah, dude, it does sound like a wild-ass stalker. This is some, like, next-level psychosis. Do people not think they'll get caught? Man's is dumb for this. No, really. I mean, like, how long did you think you were going to get away with this? How long did you think you were going to get away with this before it caught up to you or before it got exposed? That's nuts. Uh, he has to really get off from this. Dude, absolutely. Juice, I'm not an avid Pokemon watcher. It means I'm an Amaranth loyalist. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. I have. I have. Anyways, probably doesn't care. No, fuck it. Apparently not. So, yeah. So he would approach women within her community from the chat. Uh, And then, yeah, he would tell them that he was struggling with mental health issues when I don't think that was a truth to gain their trust. He would then send, yeah, fabricated, that was the edited Discord uh, messages between them or like the Photoshop Discord ones, as well as manipulated photos of, it's not manipulated, it's deep faked nudes of her. So it's not her with the intention of coercing. uh, So yeah, so then he started saying, then this dude was doing all of this stuff with female viewers from Pokemon's chat and then trying to get them, he was like, I'll fly you out. He started saying, I'll fly you out. Can you please send me nudes? Like, you know, being with Pokimane is like making me want to suey kind of shit. And then Pokimane claimed that many of the girls who were targeted shared numerous screenshots and videos of their conversation with the individual, providing evidence of deceitful and manipulative actions. Consequently, an investigation was launched and the individual in question was terminated from his position. Following, the- Yeah, I'd like... However, Twitch personality has chosen to not reveal the individual's identity in order to safeguard the anonym, uh, anonymity of the women who came forward. There's concerns. I think there was more clips to this. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'll say this is the reason why this came across like my desk. If you want to put that's like Twitch, Twitch detective shtick. The reason why this came across my desk is I saw Moist Critical's video on it. Moist Critical uh, of Twitch and YouTube fame. Obviously, I'm sure you guys know who Moist Critical is. He was saying he doesn't understand the game plan here. And I'll tell you why it's the game plan is fairly obvious. He was saying that Moist Critical was saying in his video and his YouTube video, you guys can go check it out if you guys want. It's like he he has more clips of this shit. But basically what he was saying is that he doesn't understand this dude's game plan at all. He was like, what what's the long game? What's the point of like claiming to do this shit? He's like, what's the point of sending one woman's nudes? which is not Pokemanes, they were fake. What's the point of sending them to another woman and then being like, oh, look at this. Look at these private photos that I just fucking shared of this woman. Can you send me some too? He was like, what's the game plan? Uh, uh, Let me catch chat. I'm lost too, so I can't judge. I just watch uh, and learn. The game plan won't be good because it came from an unstable mind. I think his game plan in all, like this dude's game plan, right? I think this dude's game plan in all of this is... He, it, this was a call to authority. This was a call to authority, right? This dude was like, I'm going to show these women that I'm dating Pokimane with proof. And I'm going to show them that these are her nudes. They're not. And these are our conversations. They weren't. They were Photoshopped. But that I'm going to do all of this as a call to authority because in some cases, and this goes for both men and women, is that when you have a really attractive or affluent partner, it makes people from the opposite sex more interested in you simply because they're like, what does this dude have that this person is interested in and wants to be with them for? I.e., in my own personal relationship, Emily is much more attractive than me. 
And I'd assume that sometimes some people look at me and Emily and say, what do I have that Emily is even concerned with and wants to be with me for? So in that way, it gets a lot of people like dudes, dudes will look at chicks with girlfriends or, or sorry, chicks with dudes will look at chicks with a boyfriend or a husband or something like that. And it'll make them more attracted to them, if that makes any sense. So I think that's part of the game plan is simply making himself appear as if he had something that some people would like that, that women would want, AKA Pokimane, who's so private about her romantic life and who keeps all these things behind the scenes. It was definitely like, I think his game plan was simply a call to authority to, to be like, you know, Oh, she's attracted to me. She's sending me news. She's sleeping with me. She's talking to me, all these kind of things. Why don't you do the same? Or why? Like, here's why, here's why you should be comfortable about doing the same kind of thing. That's slimy as fuck. That's manipulative as fuck. That is, it's some crazy shit, but I think that was, I think that was a long con there is what that was. The guy was trying to do, but like, bro, if you're, Again, I'm going to assume that, and this is totally an assumption. This is totally an assumption. I'm going to assume that this was a Twitch executive because if this guy was actually communicating with Pokimane, if he was actually communicating with other top streamers, had all these connections, was talking them, was talking to them in the DMs, knew tons of things. Poke, she, Pokimane said that he, like, he knew tons of things. How much money they would make off a of stream, how much money they would make off of brand deals, off of stream advertisements, all that kind of things. If he knew all of this information, he had to be some kind of either Twitch executive or an executive at a brand that works very closely with top streamers and that advertises very frequently with top streamers. That's the only option it could be. So Twitch executive or some kind of brand executive for a company that works closely with Twitch streamers. So anyways, uh, yeah, I think that, so like when Moist Critical was saying, I don't get why the game, what the game plan is or like what the, what the point of doing all this stuff was. I think it was just simply a like call to authority to be like, you know, look at this affluent, gorgeous woman here and she's interested in me. She's sleeping with me. She's dating me, all that kind of stuff, you know, and here's why basically like a, here's why you should too, which is some fucking crazy shit. Or at least that's what I assume the situation to be a call to juice authority, a juice, a juicity. Oh my God, a big dick, Jason, Jason be rich. Oh my God. That is definitely not what Emily wants with me. BDT. Uh, but it's dumb play. Cause you're showing you aren't trustworthy. Yeah, exactly. Joe, exactly. That's why it's like, bro. Pokemon is one of the biggest content creators on the internet point period point period why or and especially one of the biggest female content creators on the internet point period why the fuck would you send her nudes and then think you're gonna garner the trust of these other female viewers from her chat why why would they think that that's a trustworthy thing to do and so that's why it's like jesus bro oh my god it's like painful a terrible long con uh it's clear he's never interacted with women i know it's a terrible yeah to know it's a terrible long literally oh my god so ridiculous <laughs>